all you single ladies out there. I thought I would come here tonight and do a quick video for all the people pleasers. So if you are a woman and you would describe yourself as a people pleaser or as a woman who has a hard time saying no, I wanna give you a couple tips on how to handle a relationship so that you don't end up getting stuck in something that you shouldn't be in. So one of the things that pleasers have a difficult time with is pacing a relationship because a guy may come along and he's like, hey, I'm interested in you and you're, and she's like, okay, that sounds really good. And she has a hard time saying no or setting boundaries to pace the relationship. So the problem with that is, is that lots of times pleasers were so busy pleasing and trying to make the person that we're in relationship with happy that we don't really acknowledge how we really feel about the relationship and we don't take time to really understand how we feel. And so, if you, as a pleaser or a woman who has a hard time saying no, if you can learn how to kind of slow the relationship down and not move into a committed dating relationship, it will give you time to process your emotions so that you can understand how you feel. So for example, there was a woman I was coaching some time ago and um, she was talking to me about how she got into relationships and then they wouldn't work out. So a guy would come along, hey, I'm interested in you, and she'd be like, great, let's date. And they would start to get serious or be in a committed dating relationship. And then she's scrambling to try to figure out how she feels. But on the other hand, she's also pushing down how she feels because pleasers are oftentimes trying to keep the peace, right? That they don't take time to really understand how they feel about a particular relationship or situation. So that would be a tip that I would have for you if you are a pleaser or if you have a hard time saying no is to slow down the relationship before you move into committed dating so that you're not trying to figure it out and so that you're also not denying how you feel because for a pleaser once you're in a committed dating relationship it can be kind of scary to really acknowledge how you really feel about it right because that means that you have to do something about it so if you take your time and don't move forward so quickly, it will give you the space you need for your emotions to develop and for you to acknowledge how you feel kind of in a non-pressure, safe environment where you're not committed yet in a committed dating relationship. So I hope that's helpful um, if you are a pleaser and just remember to take your time. Oh, and one more thing, a second tip, is that if you have a hard time saying no, one of the ways that you can encourage a guy so that you can let him know, hey, I really do like you, but I need to take my time, is to say that very thing. So if a guy comes along and he wants to uh, get into a committed dating relationship really quickly and you're not ready for that, instead of allowing your people-pleasing tendencies to kick in and not say no, what you can do is, so you can encourage him, you say, you know what, I am really enjoying getting to know you and I'm excited about learning more about you and, and getting to know you better, but I just need to take my time. And when you do that, what you're doing is you're letting him know, hey, I really am interested, but you're also giving yourself permission to take the time that you need to slow down and to figure out how you really feel. Then you're gonna avoid getting into a relationship or a situation in which later you have to back up, right? So um, I hope that's helpful for all the pleasers out there. And I'm holding up my hand because that was me for a long, long time. All right, I hope everybody's doing well and I hope that all of you have a wonderful weekend. Talk soon, bye-bye.